Hi, my friends. I'm absolutely thrilled that the WED Spring Release, Spring Update, is released today. And I will show you quickly how easy it is to deploy Session Host with WED Admin, with images you already have and you already use, to Session Host in the WED Spring Update, Spring Release. So, um, first let me show to enable WED Admin for using um, the spring release make sure that you have the right version you need at least 1.5 and to show the new node in wd admin set one registry key set in hkey count user software it pro cloud in wd admin a new registry key called feature set to one. One shows you additionally the spring release. If you set it to two, it will only show you the spring update and will ignore the normal, the common WED version. So I've done this, I have done this already. So let us reload. Select my tenant first. Reload. And yes, you can use the same service principle. The only thing you have to do to um, to make sure that you can set permission to your application and desktop groups, uh, make sure that the service principal has owner permission in the resource groups you want to use with WD Admin with the Spring Update. So it takes a little bit longer because it refreshes those tenant or the tenant, the WD tenant, and the Spring release. So give it a second. Did you now reading the power state of virtual machine takes the longest time in this case. So I reload my data and on top, if you already know it, I have my normal and quotes the WVD tenant, but additionally I have a node called WVD V2. I know it's not the correct name, um, but it's easy to identify where are your ARM resources regarding WVDs resist. So I open this node. And I see one tab workspace, one node workspaces, and one for the host pools. Let me expand the host pools. They are grouped in resource groups and have built already two. I have one called designed two with some um, information. I'll give it a better friendly name. Pool. And um, yeah. Let's save, save it, and it works exactly in the same manner like um, working before. And I have another one. But important is beneath the host pool are the session host and the app groups. That is similar to, um, to WVD we already know. I have um, two app groups. One is for a desktop, a session desktop. Um, spring, I'd call it Spring and additional app groups, which can be added. As you know, one advantage is you, if you want to add um, an application, you can do this querying the start menu if you have already a session host running in this host pool. So let me show if I have a session host, I have some, but I want to show you how to deploy a new one. So that works similar. I go to my Azure node, to images, I have already images I used in my common WED environment. And let me select one. That's the newest one. And I can create a session host from image in the same manner. Um, let me use SP for spring. Um, let me roll out three of them. And here I can select the host pool. And here's a, a little different. On top, I see my common WVD host pools I had before in, um, in the pre-spring release. And I have two that are the bows with this um, upper two, which indicates me that is from the spring update. It's a design two. That is that what we already have here. And if I want to roll this out, I select this host pool and I do the same 
things I do normally or I did before. I select a subnet a resource group to roll out the session host. I skip the availability group. A disk type, let me go for a thermal one, which is a cool one. And a good DS tributary disk size. So the rest is similar and let me start the rollout. So this could take a while, so give it a few minutes. So host. So I reload all to see if my session hosts are there and to make sure that is nothing else hiding my session hosts. So yeah, see, getting the power state of different virtual machine, that is that what takes time. Each power state needs one query to the API to get the correct power state. So let us go back, WD, host pools, design two, session host, and there are the three new one I rolled it out. And they are nearly all available. Okay, they're all available. So let me check. We have an app group or two app groups, uh, one with a desktop and one with application. Let me check if I have the permission to show the desktop. Oh, I'm not in there. And now I'm in, in this group. Let me remove the permission from the desktop, from the apps, and let's set it to, to the desktop. As browse in the Azure Active Directory. So let me change the software group for all software. I add them to this desktop application group. And that should then work to show my desktop I rolled out. I'll refresh. And you maybe now um, application groups in the spring update are on the, the workspaces. I can show this later. And this should show me my resources. Let me go back. I don't see my resource. Is this workspaces? Oh, there's not under that. You can see I have not linked the desktop um, application group to one of the workspaces. So that is the fold why I don't see my resource. So let us add my. desktop application group to to this one. Maybe you have seen that. I couldn't select, select the application group for my new desktop on the first workspace because this workspace is in central US and this workspace is in West US and the desktop group must be in the same location. So I could only add the application group, the desktop application group, Desky, to a workspace in the same region like this one. So let us show, or let us try. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Let me select one refresh, refresh all. And I should see the other workspace. Okay, so this is the workspace. Workspace West Coast with the front end VWCW. And here is my desktop. Let's start. And this looks great. 
let me minimize or resize the desktop so that you can see. But I think you believe the logon is running and the desktop can be used from me. And the cool thing is, this is an image I built um, not especially for the spring release. I built this for the normal, for the common um, WVD tenant. And the same in image works in the same way in the spring release. So I think that's good. So you can um, use your old images um, or to say it easier, the images are independent if you want to use them in the common WVD or in the spring release of WVD. So thanks a lot. I'm happy about feedback. 